Today, we're time-lapsing mycelium. We'll call it subject A and subject B. My objective today is to place both petri dishes in a dark room and see which one fills up faster. At this stage, it's really hard to tell which one will win. But as the video plays on, it seems subject A is taking the lead. Every second of footage is equivalent to two hours. That's because my camera takes one photo every four minutes, which is the same as 15 photos every hour. That means in one full day, we take 360 photos. And since this is playback at 30 frames a second, that's how we know every frame of footage is equivalent to two hours of growth. Overnight, I run into some temperature drops in the room, which is part of the reason why you'll see condensation buildup on the Petri dish. As the time lapse gets to the halfway mark, subject A seems to be pulling far ahead. Subject B has a rough start, but eventually it does fill up the space as well, just not in the same time frame. Unfortunately, we won't get to see the full time lapse of subject B because you may notice a slight flickering starting to develop on the bottom right of the film. My camera started malfunctioning halfway and it was a little too late before I realized what had gone wrong. Subject B never got to see the light of day. Thankfully, subject A finished and this allowed us to get the time lapse we were looking for. This was the growth of mycelium. This is used to sprout mushrooms, which one day I plan on time lapsing myself. You can find the sped up version on my channel that focuses only on subject A. I increased the rate of the time lapse and it really shows just how wonderful these look when they start to blossom. Thanks for watching today's video. Till next time.